What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Nasaya and I'm back with another video. As you can tell today I'm going to be doing my um, top five deep conditioners that has made my hair grow and that I have seen significant good results from. Um, I have two major ones that I'm going to speak about later in this video that I really really love um, that was like literally like my ride or die video I mean deep conditioners um, but the other ones I most recently started using and or I was using before I damaged my hair. But other than that, let's just go ahead and get right into this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel so you guys can help me out so I can upload more and more videos. Um, and yeah, let's just get right into it. Alrighty guys, so I kind of want to give like a background about my hair. Um, for those of you who do not know, um, I dyed my hair um, back in high school. Um, I dyed my hair and I had to dye it blonde. And I had to bleach it blonde in order to get it to the color that I wanted. I would definitely insert pictures. Um, so before that, before I dyed it, my hair was super long. It was not super long. It was like here and then like in the back, it came up to like right here. But it was super healthy. 100% I can definitely say it was super healthy. I started straightening it, started going to the hair salon. And literally I dyed a little bit of it, like, you know, the back of my hair little you know brown or whatever and i thought i was doing something after that then i just started getting more and more addicted to it and dyeing my hair these different colors um until i finally had to dye it bleach or bleach it blonde to get to the color that i wanted like i said and literally that like my hair curly it would come up to here normally it literally went from here to here to here to here like literally it just fell off it was going ballistic it was not healthy whatsoever um and i just had to make the choice to go ahead and be like okay you know i'm just gonna start over and i dyed my hair back black and from that point forward i didn't dye it at all um i was not using heat or anything like that um so yeah, that's like pretty much like the background story and pretty much in this video, I'm going to explain the top five deep conditioners that helped me to get my length back and just like was a real deep um, or helpful thing in my hair care process. So let's just get into it. So I only have one of the deep conditioners with me currently because that's just what I purchased, you know, most recently. But um, I will show pictures of each of the uh, products and kind of give you a little background on each of the products. Um, so the first product is literally my ride or die. I love it. Eh, I love this product so much. So it's going to be the Queen Helene Super Cholesterol Hair Conditioning Cream. This stuff, I don't know about you, but baby girl, this stuff works like no other okay it's only five dollars you can get it from walmart um literally it helps with extreme damaged hair um throughout that process i was doing deep conditioners and stuff like that but i wasn't really doing um deep conditioners like that like that but the key that really helped me to understand is you have to do it you have to be consistent with it you know with anything that you do you have to be consistent with it so um that being said you have to do it literally every single week and once i started doing deep conditioning my hair every single week i started seeing hair growth and retention in my hair and retaining the length that i wanted to have um but this right here is like my number one product i definitely recommend um it's only five dollars you can get it from walmart probably uh Amazon too, but that's where I get mine from. It's like a big jug. You see how big this thing is? And the smell of it, I don't really like the smell 100%, but it definitely works. And one thing that I'll also add to that, a tip is I would do it once a week, every single week, pretty much on my days off. And I would leave it in overnight um, so that the next morning I can just wash it out and just kind of go with it. Another tip is sometimes you can leave it in for a whole week. If you got a bonnet and you're able to wear it anywhere that you want to, whether it's work or school or whatever, I would definitely recommend just leaving it in. Like leave this stuff in overnight, over the day, throughout until you're ready to wash it out and do like a little twist out or whatever. I literally would do that, you know, little buff, buff on it or, you know, little hair thingies that would work wear at the hospital. I would leave the deep conditioner in, have the plastic bag over my head and put that little buff on it on. Nobody would see it. Like I would be walking through that halls like as if my hair is just under here. No, baby girl, it's sitting. <laughs> it is deep conditioning. <laughs> um, so that's just like kind of like a little tip. So the next product that I used 
like die, ride or die this is gonna be my ride or die is going to be the organics by african best it's gonna be pictures here extra virgin olive oil hair mayo it is the treatment for weak damaged hair with organic herbs olive oil and egg protein so between this one um this one and the one that like this one right here um i would probably like do them like every week i would do them every week but interchange them so one week i'll do this one one week i'll do that one and that's kind of like the flow that i was going at and then you know if i didn't have any more of the other one i would just do this again um i definitely recommend this one because this is this says it has egg protein in it and you don't want to over put too, put too much protein in it or keratin or anything like that um in your hair so this one i would just probably go ahead and recommend getting um, but those are my major two deep conditioners that I use for my hair growth. Now, the next ones I used to use before I damaged my hair and I am using now as well as throughout the process. You know, so the next one is going to be the Sheer Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil is Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. It has sheer butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. This is going to be like $11. And the last one I just showed you too was only like $3. So that's just that on that. Um, but this one is anywhere from eleven dollars to thirteen fifteen dollars you can get it from walmart target um pretty much amazon oh excuse me you can get it from amazon as well this one i would definitely use and i was using before i even damaged my hair and i can definitely say that this definitely worked the smell is all right it's not like bad or anything like that it smells okay you know um, but it definitely works when it comes to bringing back moisture keeping in moisture and restoring your hair so now this one is going to or the next one is going to be the dr miracles um deep conditioning treatment this stuff literally like i'm not even playing you guys this stuff is amazing i will insert some pictures but it is the um tingling it has like a tingling and feeling to it like if you're trying to do like a spa night or you just have a headache or something like that i would literally put this deep conditioner in my hair after i wash and condition my hair and then put this as a deep conditioner in it Put that plastic bag on and i would just all night just feel like a tingling sensation and it was so beautiful this one does smell good i love it and it comes in packets instead of actual like jars or containers um but it's only like a dollar 63 for them you can get about like 10 of them do maybe i think one pack used to could fit my hair but because my hair has gotten thicker um around two packs i would definitely recommend for the size the length as well as um the thickness of my hair um but i would definitely recommend this because it does work and it feels good on the hair and it's definitely moisturizing and conditioning so that's just the next one so the last product that i recently came across is going to be the miss jesse super sweet back treatment um and this one smells like bubblegum i like this because it smells like bubblegum and because it definitely does provide a lot of moisture to my hair whenever i would wash my hair out like my wet and goes would come out really looking really nice and moisturized um so this one i definitely recommend um this one i think it is it has no sulfates no parabens none of that stuff um in it and it can run you a little it's a little pricier that's why i did save it for last it's like maybe anywhere from 15 to 25 no 15 to 21 dollars um you can get it from walmart you can get no i think you get it from target walmart i don't think sells this one specifically um but it definitely works and i love it um it is 8.5 fluid ounces which is not that much but for what it gives it gives <laughs> you know it definitely gives what it's supposed to give and i love that about that product now to pretty much sum up you know this whole like my tips and things like that out like i said I, if you're on a budget i would definitely stick to this one like it works it's cheap it you know it gives you what you're supposed to be trying to give um all of these give you know but this one and the um organics african best those two products are definitely my go-to and i still to this day as you can tell like I, this is the only product that i have right now you know with me so that's why I could definitely say that these these two products definitely 100%. If you're trying to, you're beginning, you're starting, I would go for that um, for your hair. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna give you as many tips as I want or I'm going to try to give as much tips possible in this video. Alrighty, so my first tip is, that I would recommend to all of you guys is I wanna explain in 2020, my hair was long, okay? like. But when I talk about like the tips up into getting up to getting that length, like you'll see from 2020 when I first dyed my, I mean, first straightened my hair again, like I didn't straighten my hair for like four years. And then I finally did it in 2020. And then now um, from 2020 to 2021, that length, yes, you'll see, um, I'll insert um, basically what I did. So I'll 
but in the beginning after i dyed my hair and i damaged it the things that i were doing was first and foremost a deep conditioner i was deep conditioning my hair every single week um i found that out through that process by deep conditioning my hair and my hair was literally growing like crazy it was super healthy it was super like you know yes i want more give me more um, it was like a balance of protein treatments and conditioning treatments and just balancing those both off um which is what caused the length to continue to grow, to keep the moisture, and make sure my hair was not breaking off. My next tip is that I stayed away from heat for those four years. Like I did not put heat to my hair whatsoever. Now don't get me wrong, I would say that like sometimes I would blow dry my hair out, but obviously I would do it with like a light, light blow dry. It wouldn't be to the fullest, highest temp. Um, and I would put it on low and I, it would only be for me to get like a specific like twist out or um, for me to like lay my hair down like really, really nice to do like a ponytail or something like that. Like that was like the only reason I would use heat. But other than that, like I did not straighten my hair. I did not like no heat at all whatsoever. Um, I was also doing some hot oil treatments. Um, that's pretty much basically where you go and take you some oil. You can use coconut oil, you can use grapeseed oil, you can um, use olive oil. Those oils I was definitely using 100% to do hot oil treatments and making sure that I'm keeping that moisture in my actual hair. So that is pretty much the third tip is by like keeping the moisture in and doing hot oil treatments. Um, so the fourth tip is pretty much going to be, um, I would say that doing low manipulation type of hairstyles, um, whether you're doing um, braids you know braiding your hair up putting i wouldn't recommend putting a wig on but if that's what you want to do that's what you want to do it's definitely a protective style but i'm not into like wigs and things like that right now and before or i might in the future but for right now like that's not something that i would use as a protective style me personally i want to get to my roots and be able to oil my scalp so um if you do like a knotless braids or the braids back or however much if you're doing braids and things like that i would definitely oil my scalp throughout that process and um that's pretty much how i would go and leave those in for like maybe like a week four weeks not week but four weeks a month um and so yeah so protective style low manipulation type of hairstyles um the next tip that i would say is to doing the um lock loc method or the lock method that's where you put the leave-in conditioner your oil and then your cream or um I think it's the other way around where you put your leave-in, your cream, and then your oil. Um, me personally, I was like doing the leave-in, the oil, cream, and then putting more oil on top of it. Um, so that's like pretty much like kind of what helped my hair keep the moisture and continue the length or continue to grow my hair. Um, and doing like scalp massages and stuff like that with the oils is another good tip, you know, for retaining length and causing hair growth so the next tip that i would definitely say is okay so from the point where i damaged my hair up until 2020 um i was doing it and then in 2020 december of 2020 i died and i dyed my hair i went to go get my hair straightened for the first time for christmas and i told her i was like you know i didn't even realize how long my hair had gotten you know before then but it did get there but it was damaged um a little bit um my hair grew back to like right here um and once she once i did it and got it done i told her to cut off all the dead hair i just didn't want any dead hair i wanted to just start something new something fresh something clean so she did she didn't have to cut that much because mind you i was doing deep conditioners i was keeping the moisture in and making sure my ends were healthy so that's a good tip but <clears throat> The main tip here is what I'm saying is to go and get you a nice cut um, to get that dead hair off. That's going to really help you to um, maintain length because if your ends are healthy, then your hair is going to be healthy. Um, and making sure that your ends stay healthy throughout this whole process is what's going to be important because if they're dead and they're dying off, they're breaking off or they're brittle and things like that, it's not. It's going to keep falling off and keep chipping off and it's just going to make your hair stay stagnant and you want to be able to keep your ends so that when your hair grows out, your ends are growing with it. Um, so that's just like another really big tip um what helped me is i was doing apple cider vinegar um conditioners i was rinsing my hair out with apple cider vinegar i was doing the aztec clay mask on my hair um what else was i doing i was also um 
like I said, that's really big when I was like working at the hospital that I was working at before. Uh, I was doing like the head caps and putting a little bouffant on and leaving my hair in like the deep conditioner in for like overnight, maybe throughout the morning that next day and or for a whole week, you know. So I was doing that as well. Um, if you can do it, do it. If not, it's fine. I think the longer that you keep it in, the better it is. So even if you're only able to do it overnight, that's fine. Do it. You know, as long as you're doing that deep conditioner and getting a couple, I would say like no longer, no less than an hour um, for deep conditioners for me. I was doing wet and goes. I was doing twist outs and things like that. So that's another, I would say another example. Yeah, doing wet and goes and things like that. That's what helped my hair grow and retain length. That is actually a main thing that really caused my length from 2020 to 2021 because I was literally doing all wet and goes. I forgot. Wet and goes and twist out, twist outs. So like the lock method and things like that and twisting it out and leaving it twisting maybe overnight or put that bouffant on and have it throughout that week, all my scalp in between um, that and then just doing the wet and goes because throughout the wet and goes, you're not really touching your hair. You're just letting it, you know, go and it's curly and you put it up in the pineapple and then you take it down and, you know, that type of process. So yeah alrighty guys so that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching um, I really enjoy making videos like this and I just like making videos for you guys to help you um, if you have any questions don't forget to or don't feel free to um, comment them down below so I can try to answer them to the best of my ability um, but other than that don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next time bye bye